Hey guys, this is John Carnell, and I'm here with another dev drop for July 2021. Uh, this is a, a, a dev drop that is kind of in a continuing uh, series of dev drops in July, uh, focused around our Archie tool. Now, if you remember, Archie is our command line tool that we can use to take the graphical representation of an architect call flow and translate it into a human readable file format that can then be exported and imported into another Genesis Cloud org. So what we're gonna do now is in the first video of the DevDrop series, I showed you how to set up and configure Archie. Uh, in the second, I showed you how to take a uh, Archie or an architect flow and use Archie to export it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take uh, Archie and import the flow into a brand new Genesis Cloud org. So as you guys can see, I have a blank, uh, no inbound emails in a brand new org. Um, I've set up new credentials and we're gonna hop on over and take a look at how we can use Archie and uh, create and publish the org, or excuse me, the flow. So, all right, we're over here in Archie and um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called an Archie create command. And we're going to pass in a different options file called underscore prod.yaml, which is gonna contain our client credentials that we set up for our prod org. Now to see how to set up client credentials for Archie, you can go ahead and watch the, the first dev drop video on Archie that we put out there. So it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to do an Archie create. We're gonna pass in the name of the YAML file that we uh, export it, and then we're going to use a dash dash option file and pass in the options file containing our credentials. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Yep. Nope. Hold on. I probably just have a misspelling here. I'm actually in the wrong directory, excuse me. All right, let's go ahead and run this again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna connect with our credentials. You can see the client ID and the secret, and you can see a lot of work. And depending on the size of the flow, it could take several minutes to process and import the flow. Our flow is relatively small, so it's, gonna, it's not gonna take a lot of time. So let's go ahead and now go back to our web browser. And in there, we can see that we have an email flow out there. It's been checked in at version 1.0 and it's been, uh, it hasn't been published yet. Now, when a flow hasn't been published, that means it's not available to actually process requests. Now, normally in the UI to be able to publish a flow, you would, after you create it, you would edit it and then you would go through and you would hit the publish button. We're not gonna do that. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here, or I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna go back, come back into my flow. And I am going to try to create my flow again. Now this time we should see an error message indicating that the version of the flow that we're trying to create already exists. So now what Archie can do is you can tell Archie to go and delete the old flow and recreate the, the flow from scratch from your email file. And to do that, you can pass in an Archie create and then just pass in the recreate command. And what that's essentially going to do is before Archie does anything, it deletes the old flow and then creates a new one. Now you have to be really, really careful with this because if you delete a flow that already is in existence, you can cause an outage if one, the, the recreation of the, the YAML file has changed and you haven't tested it. Or two, for that brief period of time when the flow is deleted and the new flow is being recreated, that flow is not there to process calls or not there to process emails. So just be aware of it. So we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna call recreate and away we go. Oh, I'm still unlocked. So uh, the error message that you're seeing here is I'm still in there editing the flow. I've had somebody actually in there and editing the flow. So what I can do is I can force an unlock when I try to recreate or publish the flow and that will basically break the lock of whoever was editing this. 
Now, in reality, when you are publishing between environments, you're probably going to want to do this anyways, because nobody should be going in if you're truly in a CICD pipeline and editing a flow anywhere outside other than dev then they, what they should be doing is exporting that flow from dev and then having it promote through the CI CD pipeline. So we're gonna go ahead and do a force unlock and we're gonna go ahead and recreate it. Okay, so now we've broken the lock, we've deleted it and now we're recreating the flow. All right, great, so let's go back to our browser window. Let's go ahead and refresh. And we're going to see, hey, this flow was deleted. Because this particular flow that we were looking at had its own unique ID at the time we ran Archie. And so as a result of that, the flow has been deleted. Our UI is still present and thinks what we're still trying to access the flow using its flow ID. So let's go back into architect and go completely back in. And we can now see that our flow is out there. All right, so to build a CI CD pipeline though, we don't want to go out there and ever have to manually touch the flow to publish it. Instead, what we would like to do is either create the flow and then publish it, or just publish the flow as soon as it's created. So let's go walk through the Archie publish command. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this particular flow and we're going to pop back to my command line window all right and we're now going to create an archie publish and we're going to use rather than create we're going to use publish now what publish will do is you can take um publish and take an existing version and try to publish it. And if the version is not out there, Archie will automatically create the, the flow based on the file that you can find here and publish it. Since we deleted our flow, we're gonna skip the create step. We're gonna let Archie take care of it by doing an Archie publish and then passing in the file and then the options file. All right. So we're going out, we're publishing the flow. And if we go out there and look now, and we refresh our screen, we can now see that the checked in version and the flow have been created, but we can also see that version 1.0 has been published. So the cool thing is, is, is it really depends on your CI CD pipeline. I tend to like to go for an immutable architecture. So if I want to make changes to my flow, I always want to go back and I want to roll back, or excuse me, I want to roll forward my changes. So let's say you introduce a flow, something has broken, I would fix the flow back in dev and then be able to go out and publish all the way through my CI CD pipeline to make sure that my architecture remains immutable. However, if you're in a situation where you've published a bad flow and you need to roll back, you can always go back and try a different, uh, basically roll back to a different version and republish that version. So you can go out and you can say, okay, there's no previous versions here. It's version 1.0, but I can choose a different version. Let's say I had 10 versions. I just had Archie roll a flow out. It breaks. I can go out and I could do a rollback sequence either via Archie telling it to publish version nine because 10 had problems, or I could go into the UI and I could say, go back to the previous version in here. All right, you guys, that pretty much uh, ends the, our discussion on Archie. And it's a very, very high level discussion uh, with Archie in terms of the exports and the importing of flows. I would really encourage you to take a look at our developer center in genesis.cloud and look at our dev apps. And in there, you can find the complete documentation for Archie. There's a lot of really, really good stuff out here. A lot of stuff about being able to script with Archie, frequently asked questions. Also talks about how you can parameterize Archie with environment variables. So some really, really good information. Well, thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed this DevDrop series. Um, there's gonna be one more DevDrop in this series about how to take 
Archie and integrate it to Terraform. Please provide feedback. We always welcome it. We're always looking for new comments and questions. Feedback can be dropped on the forum. So thanks and everybody have a good day.